Hey, what's good, yo? NX Medi here with another video. Today, we we're talking about how to use the how to use one shot in FS Studio. So, let's get into the video. Now, first of all, here are my TM sample packs. Here, here are my sample packs. And you see, I use a lot of samples here. I have a few um good plugins for um my sounds but i think i prefer using sound packs yeah so for today we'll be using the cymatics mayhem um bonus pack this was um a couple months ago so i don't really remember last when i got this i haven't really messed with it that much so yeah let's use this for this video now and you know, these sample packs, these are really good, really nice, especially this lead. I think I fuck with this. So, first thing I want to do is come over to this place, yeah. Hold on, I don't have my MIDI with me, so I'm just going to use my keyboard as alternative. So, uh, uh, as you can hear, they are overlapping each other, so... The first thing you're gonna do is go over to this place, click cut itself. So as you can hear, immediately the other note comes in, the other stops. You know what I'm saying? But it leaves a sustain, it leaves a tail. So what I wanna do is go over to this place, turn out the attack, increase the hold, decay, sustain, and release. So so as soon as I leave it. It stops and this is more useful this technique is more useful when you're using 808 and stuff so that especially when making a drill bit because you will like you would want to you want your um 808 to stop when you want you want to take your hands off the um keyboard or a piano so yeah so if you want if you want it to have more sustain um this is how you do it. The symbol is there. But the issue with that is that it overlaps with each other. Like the notes overlap with each other. So I prefer using it this way. Sometimes a sample playing the same notes over and over again. Just go over to this modification um option and choose on stretch. If the sample is playing only one note, it will be an auto. So just go over to stretch and that, that's it. So yeah, over here you can tweak this length of your sample, the overall length. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. And you can tweak how where the sample starts um the beginning and all so this way you have upset your sample offset your sample I like for example i click the keyboard and this is the time it takes for the notes um for the sample to play immediately after i click the pian the keyboard or the piano and it has a delay so i'm just gonna leave it like that simple as that so let me quick let me quickly make it um a chord progression now so we can use this example i made a basic chord progression now so i said what's up By default, as you see, like from, at the beginning, I dragged the sample into the first option right here that says sample. Like it's always there when you start your FS Studio from from the FS Studio 20.0 to the latest version. It's always a sample. Um, it's always one sampler channel they waiting for you in the channel rock. So, and it's always linked to the first one. But what I'm still gonna do is tap on this, then go over to this place, click on Control L. 
the symbol is there so i can have the name here for me to and identify it from the rest if i'm to make a beat i can identify it from the rest so this is like the basic steps like basic way to use one shot in every studio so if you like this video click the thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section what else you want me to make and yeah subscribe peace out